Hey guys, it's Bailey from Brooklyn and Bailey and Cute Girls Hairstyles. It has been a while since I've been on this channel doing a hairstyle tutorial, but I did get a lot of questions on how to do this exact hairstyle. So here I am to show y'all. This is what we're calling the bandana braids. Also, specifically for short hair, obviously, because you can see I have short hair. So let's get right into the hairstyle. Okay, so first things first, get your bandana and fold it up however you need. So I have mine folded up here so that it sits right on my head and now I'm going to position it and put it in place. So usually, typically, I'll start it about where my hairline's at, I'll pull all my hair behind the bandana and tie it underneath my hair. So it's gonna look funny right now but we'll get it situated in a minute. Tie it as tight as you can so that that bandana stays in place all day. Because you definitely don't want it falling off, that would not be good. Okay, so I have it tied in place. Obviously, this looks weird. So we're gonna pull it back a little bit so you can start to see the hair at the hairline. And now I'm going to pull two small pieces out at the front. So there you go. You can see how these two pieces so you can curl these pieces, you can straighten them, you can leave them how they are, that is totally up to you. But before I deal with those, I'm gonna continue on with the rest of the hairstyle. Basically, you start by splitting your hair in half in the back. So now I have two pigtail pigtails. I'm gonna grab one and I'm just gonna do a simple fishtail. So in short hair, a simple fishtail is a little more difficult because we have short strands. So sometimes those strands don't go through the fishtail and they can fall out, so it is a little trickier. Um, so you just have to be careful about which strands you're pulling into the fishtail. I'll show you how I do it on mine and then you can try it on your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this side so you guys can see it. Try and comb down your hair so it's flat right here so then you have no bumps. Begin by splitting the hair. So you have two chunks of hair, and then you do a typical fishtail. So you'll grab a piece from the back. Since we do have short hair, you can see that this strand probably isn't long enough to pull through the fishtail. So we have to be careful about which strands we grab because a lot of the times they'll fall out. This one is longer, so I'm gonna use that. Cross it over the strand you pulled it from and add it to the other chunk of hair. We'll continue on this way, but make sure you're checking to see if your strands look long enough to pull through the fishtail. This is specifically for short hair. If you have long hair, you will not need to worry about that step. This is only if you have short hair because a lot of the times you might have hairs that will fall out of the fishtail if they're too short. So we're just gonna continue on. Try and pull pieces for the fishtail from the very back. It doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of times, like fishtails, people do like these very, very perfect fishtails. This is intended to look messy and cute. One of those messy, cute hairstyles, you know what I mean? So this one looks like it's gonna be probably too short, so I'm gonna grab a different strand. Just continue on this way for a little bit longer until you feel like you're running out of those long strands that will continue the fishtail. Because, you know, we do have short hair and that can be problematic sometimes. So you can see on this side, I'm getting down to the little short ends. I'm gonna try and grab a few more on this side. Pull through the fishtail. I'll probably stop right about there. So I will rubber band it at the very end once you feel like you're at a stopping point. So now you can see I have my simple fishtail here, but instead of just leaving it like that, since I said it was intended to look messy, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up some of the strands and pancake the fishtail. So you just kind of go like this, you pull out the pieces, make it look all cute. And there you go, you have your fishtail on one side and then you're just gonna repeat that on the other side and then you have your fishtail hairstyle. Okay, so again, I'm splitting the strands on this side, grabbing a piece from the back, checking to make sure it looks long enough, crossing it over and adding it to the other side, just like you would a basic fishtail. See, that one looked a little too short to me, so I'm gonna grab something else, pull it over, and just continue on, like I said, on the other side with a basic fishtail, just making sure that you're keeping the strands as long as possible. This side is a little easier for me to do because it's my, uh, I don't know why, I think it's my dominant braid side, if that's a thing. Okay. 
rubber band that, and then pancake it out. And there you go. Okay, so now that you've finished rubber banding, go ahead and make any final touches you want to, like finish pancaking your fishtail braids, make sure the bandana's set in place, all of that stuff. This hairstyle is so cute if you wanna wear it for the 4th of July, if you had a cute bandana like this, or any kind of festival, or honestly school, perfect for pretty much any event. I love this hairstyle, it's very versatile for long hair and short hair. I just had a lot of questions on how you could do it specifically with short hair, so hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to Cute Girls Hairstyles, and thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all, see y'all next week, bye.